today I'm competing in the British Open at St Andrews as part of the Simulator Golf Tour. Stick around to see how realistic the simulator version of the old course is, what score an 11 handicap golfer can shoot, and what position I finish on the tour event. I wanted to do so much better than this, oh well, never mind. My name's Mitch, and if you're interested in golf simulators, then you've clicked on the right video. If you want to play the world's best and most famous golf courses from the comfort of your own home, then head over to the Handicap Golf channel after this video and click that subscribe button. What a terrible shot. We pick up round one where I'm currently level par after four holes. And after a wayward second shot into this par five, I somehow managed to stick one close for a gimme birdie and go one under par. Yes! <laughs> birdie time, come on! One under par at the open. And one under par is how it remained for the next seven, yes, seven holes. If you've been watching the previous videos in this Simulator Golf Tour series, you'll know that I've been struggling to say the very least. So to be playing such steady golf was a real surprise to me. Anyway, on the 13th, it all began to change, but for the better. I avoided the trademark pot bunkers and found the fairway off the tee. Hit a six iron approach to 11 feet and had the chance to hop on the train to dreamland and depart at two under par. It's going in the hole. Get in there! Come on! I am flying tonight, but keep calm. Don't get too excited. There's like five holes left to play. I love to say it, I'm playing well. Have I finally saved my good golf for a major tournament? I'm hitting baby draws, consistently carrying 190 with my hybrid, and my wedge game is on the money. And after 13 holes, I've got 10 feet for back-to-back -back birdies and to go three under par. <sighs> I'm playing golf now. It's took me like four simulated golf tour events, but I'm playing golf now. Just gonna go straight at it. Come on, get in the hole, please. At this point, I think I celebrated a little too hard as my microphone audio cut out and I didn't even realise. But thankfully, the rest of round one went swimmingly and I actually finished bogey free, three under par. And at that moment in time, it left me tied ninth on the leaderboard. I was getting dizzy. I've never seen these heights before. My current score of three under that could quite easily turn to 30 over now, couldn't it? Despite my ongoing negativity, round two didn't actually start too bad. A steady par on the first kept me ticking over, but a poor tee shot on the second left me more than 220 yards away on this challenging par four. I pushed my approach shot to the right, narrowly missing the pot bunker, landed on the third tee and overhit my pitch to leave a lengthy putt to maintain the bogey-free tournament I've had so far. It's not the toughest of putts, but the chances of me making this are pretty damn slim. It's not hard enough for starters, that. Go, go, go! Oh, it's close. First bogey of the event. But maybe my mentality was shifting. I didn't let one measly little drop shot get me down. Right, we're a round and a half down. I'm one over par for the second round, which puts me at two under par altogether. That isn't bad. It's still a pretty clean scorecard. I just want one more birdie to even that out. That'll do me nicely. Finish the second round at three under par again. I'll be very happy with that. That's a better strike. What's the direction like? It's decent. And that birdie might have been coming sooner than I thought. On the 10th, I hit a scorching tee shot down the middle to leave a 100 yard sand wedge in. With the greens and fairway playing pretty firm, I knew that if I could hit a crisp sand wedge, it would bounce up to the hole nicely. Yes. No! How have you spun out of that gimme zone? Oh, you absolute stinker. I knew that was bang on the money. But I've got this for a birdie. Come on! 
come on, get in that hole, please. Get in there, come on, get in there. Taking advantage of those small par fours is massive. It's 10 miles per hour behind me. I'm three under par for the tournament again, and I'm in the zone. Just need a good strike with it. That's exactly what I've got. Be on the good line. That's exactly what I've got. Come on, on the money. On the money. Yes. Couldn't have hit that better. Buzzing with that. I have an opportunity for back-to-back -back birdies. Can I really get it to four under par and have the leaders in my sights? Might be a bit too much, that. Stay in the gimme zone. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Come on. Yes! <laughs> back to back birdies, now we're talking. For the next four holes, I play some solid golf. Ticking pars off the scorecard for fun. I'm on top of the world as I step up to the 16th tee. A short par four with another birdie on my radar. I don't go out of bounds. It's going out of bounds. Get down. No! No! I can't believe that. So mad at myself. So I'm three off the tee. It's all right. It, it's one mishap in 34 holes. Lucky. I'm an experienced golfer. I can dust that off no problem. If I could get out of here with just a bogey, I'll be delighted. I've got an opportunity to save a bogey. It's not going to be enough, that, is it? Oh, how close was that? First double bogey in like 34 holes or something. And this is where I've got to keep my head. I've got to keep my head. Now, the road hole 17th at the old course is not the ideal hole to help you try and get your head straight after potentially ruining your chances of winning the Open but all I had to do was keep the ball in play and well away from that massive hotel on the right hand side. Oh my days, that's awful. How the hell have you gone 66 yards offline? You've got to be winding me up. I can't believe it. All that good work is becoming undone. Stupid, stupid shots. I am struggling my little ass off here. Oh no, that's really right again. Oh, it's a good job that I aim so far left there. For the second hole in a row, I'm three off the tee, and my brilliant performance so far is slowly starting to crash and burn. I narrowly escape a pot bunker, which could have ended me right there, and give myself a chance to walk away with just a double bogey. Right, the best that I can hope for is a double bogey. That's if I get up and down from here. Get in the gimme zone. Get in the gimme zone. Get in the hole, please. It's not even turned. It's a triple bogey. I honestly can't believe all of that hard work has been undone in two holes by going out of bounds twice. So mad at myself. Man, I was absolutely flying. All of a sudden, in the space of two holes, I've gone from four under for the tournament to one over. As you can imagine, my head had fully gone on the 18th tee. I somehow had to muster up a par or better from a wayward tee shot to avoid any more humiliation. Thankfully, I managed to pure an 8 iron on, approach go, to just go, 15 go. feet. Go! And I had one last chance at redemption for this round. Please let me hold this. Big chance, come on. Please get in the hole. Yes! Come on, get in there. Wow. What a round that was. Everything was going swimmingly to a double and a triple on 16 and 17. Madness. 
I've done well to pull that back. Level par after two rounds is... <laughs> Look, I'm taking that. At the start of this tournament, I'm taking level par after two rounds. I'm biting your hand off for it. But it could, be, it could have been so much better. Just that out of bounds on them final few holes gets well in my head. <sighs> Especially when I'm prone to a massive block right. Anyway, it's half ten. I've played two rounds tonight. I'm going to save that third and final round for another day. <sighs> uh, I'd love to play it now, but I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Round three, it's a different day. It's Sunday night here. Cam Smith has just won the Open Championship with an unbelievable final round. Pretty gutted it wasn't Rory, but you've got to hold your hands up there. What a round of golf that was from Cam Smith. On the Sim Tour, uh, the leader is eight under par at the moment. Now, I have no hopes of getting anywhere near that. Um, I'm currently tied 15th at level par, but the conditions for this round are going to be super tough. So... I'm just hoping maybe top 20, something like that. It's absolutely roasting in here. I've got a fan on. I hope it doesn't interfere too much with the sound. Um, but it's having a heat wave in the UK. Unbelievable. These scenes have never been heard of. 11 stint greens, it's gusty. We're from further back tees. I've just got to grind through it. I'm level par, which is amazing. Um, but I've just got to grind through it, try and get a reasonable score. A few days passed and watching the final day of the Open on TV inspired me to get back on the sim and give this last round a good go. Now, if you've got this far into the video, then you're in for a treat over the opening four holes of this round. Despite the wind speeds and green stimp being jacked up for this final round, I was feeling confident and I started oh, off just well. The burn. What a start that is! <laughs> What a shot. The greens are fast. Come on, mate. Get in there, please. Yes! What a start that is. Come on. Back to one under. Get in there. What a start. I was back to one under for the tournament. And on the second, I hit the green in regulation and I have a lengthy birdie putt. Oh, I'll tell you something, flying here. But I'm confident that I can at least lag it up to that gimme zone for par. Oh no, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Oh, idiot. I didn't even look. Naivety that. Pin positions are gonna be solid. As you've just seen, I've stupidly hit it too hard. Wow, now I've got a massive uphiller. Okay, one bad putt isn't gonna ruin my good start. Worst case scenario here is that I'll lag one up the hill and make a bogey. Stay. Oh, you are winding me up. You have got to be joking me. What are these pins? I honestly can't believe this. I'm going to four put the second green. That's if I'm lucky. Oh my God, I'm glad that stayed in there then. I thought it was off. Wow. Right, that was horrendous. That's just naivety at its finest with the pin positions there, Mitch. Greens like St. Andrews as well. After an amazing start, I screwed it up. But there's a long way to go. A double on the second had me pinned back to one over for the tournament. The greens are fast, the wind is strong, and the pin positions I now know are crazy. How could I respond on the short par four third? Go. Yes, I love that. Get in there. Get in there, come on! What a recovery that is, get in. I'll tell you something, this is one hell of a start to this round. <laughs> Talk about up and down. A birdie, double, birdie start. It was an up and down start to round three, to say the least. The fourth hole is long and tough though, and I'd be delighted to walk away from this one with a par. 
But after finding the deep rough and then my first pot bunker of the whole competition, ending up practically underneath the lip, I knew that I was going to be struggling. This round is ridiculous. How am I going to get out of here? Am I going to get out of here? I've never been in a pot bunker yet. Wow, I'm just going to go for a lob wedge. Try and get me out of here. Straight back in the bunker. Unbelievable this round. <laughs> you know, man. What is going on? Yeah, it's made it out. Go. If there's nothing else to be said about this, it's fun. <laughs> it's a fun round of golf, I'll tell you that much. I had a long putt for bogey, and after my experience on the second green, I decided to get savvy and navigate the crazy St Andrews greens using GS Pro's very useful heat map feature. Unfortunately, that still didn't help me. Keep going. And after three miserable putts, I finished with a treble and all of a sudden, I feel like my competition is run. Three over. What are you doing, man? I jumped off the roller coaster of the first four holes and I steadied the ship with two further pars. On the seventh, I felt the effects of the new tee positions as I struggled to reach the fairway and I had to get creative around the old course. That's gorgeous. Stay on the fairway. To be creative at St Andrews, don't we? I hit a nice approach to eight feet and I had a chance to pull a shot back. Oh, that is a great effort again. Come on, get in there. Yes, get in there. Come on. I didn't think that was going to make it, but it caught the lip. Get in there. What a round of golf this is. Unfortunately, I gave that birdie straight back to the course on the very next hole. And on the 11th, my naivety came back to haunt me once oh, again. Man. As I didn't take notice of the severely sloping lie or the proximity of the pin to the summit of Mount Everest. Don't go down there. I didn't consider the lie and it was 7.1 degrees to the left. And it's absolutely killed me. Still going. Can you stop rolling, please? It's like the one place you can't go. Just look at that putt. Naivety at its finest. What a distance judgment that was. It's not online, though. No way. Five over par. Unbelievable. By the time I got to the road hole 17, the course and the conditions had taken oh, their in, toll. And I was seven one over one for the round one. and the Off competition. The <laughs> Get in there. What a shot. <laughs> wow, that's how you play the road hole. I had a chance to make par, but a stupid lapse in concentration led to three putts and the 17th at St Andrews had once again taken my soul. Absolute idiot. I was hoping to make birdie again on the 18th, but the strong and swirling wind caught me out on my approach shot and a poor chip led to one final bogey as I finished this crazy round and competition a disappointing 10 over par. <sighs> bogey to finish. What a crazy round that was. An unbelievable start to this third round and then look at that from hole eight I've just absolutely killed myself. Look at that, them opening four holes, that's ridiculous. Right, not the best, um, but yeah, quality that. Honestly, I really love playing that round at St Andrews. So despite that poor final round of 10 over, it turns out that I finished in 18th place on the final gross leaderboard. A shout out to Big Stick Steck, who won the gross and net competitions. Very well played to him. 
But for me, it's my first top 20 finish on the tour, which left me pleasantly surprised as I expected to be much further down the leaderboard than that. Just them three rounds at St Andrews were brilliant, especially the last one though. Um, I figured out how to use the heat map for the greens, play more tactical shots. Um, obviously, they're the kind of shots that you're probably only going to get to play on Lynx golf courses. We'll see what next week brings. Um, so far in the simulator golf tour, not doing amazing, am I? <laughs> I wanted to do so much better than this. So oh, well, never mind. Check out this video next to see if I can do any better on the simulator golf tour using GS Pro.